Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the new plush siege turtle, which we have on right here, and also the chili festivities chest, which we're going to look into first. So we have the Evan Nash Blade Winter State gift, which is, as always, for festival chests, quite a nice uh, item to have as a guaranteed unlock. You're quite likely to make a little bit of gold from these chests with these. So if that's what you're opening chests for, I find they're the best at the moment. Uh, seven Reapers, though, I think actually, maybe the Lunar New Year might be best. Anywho, Seven Reapers are the uncommon skin, and we have the new Festive Iceberg Skiff skin, which we're hoping to get, which looks really nice, actually. Really nice indeed. And, of course, we have the Infernal Flail Mace from last time, which we are yet to get as well. Magical weapons are the rare set. We have the Glyph of Unbound with the Glyph of Herbalist, as well as Ancient Wood, Lotus, Snow Truffle, and Mithril Mining Nodes. So, let's open 25 of these keys up and see what we get. Off to a poor start with a ticket scrap and some transmutation charges. And then we got the Festive Iceberg Skiff and three keys. Whoa! Okay. That's awesome. We also got a Guaranteed Warship Unlock and Lion's Arch Commemorative Die. Definitely the best key so far. There is a Elonian Landscape Die Kit. The Darkest Abyss Die Kit. Very nice indeed. And there we have a Magical Focus Skin. We're getting really good luck this time. Six keys in and we have two rare drops already. Two bonus drops as well. Very nice indeed. There's a Commemorative Coin there. We've got a Revive Orb. What else are we getting down here? More of the Elonian landscape dies. We got... What is this? Oh, a black line ticket claim. Nice. Got some material bags for End of Dragons. Some more crafting materials. We've got a lockbreaker kit. They're always handy to have. So they are. Got a metabolic primer. We got a weapon unlock here. Very nice. Ten keys left. We still need that flail skin, so hopefully we can grab that in the next nine. Never mind, we already got it. Damn, this is a good opening. Another ticket scrap there. Happy out with this. Uh, upgrade extractor. Those two are also very handy to have, especially if you're opening lots of unidentified gears. You can take out the any uh, sigil forces and such that you get to sell. More crafting materials there. Even more crafting materials there. Another die kit. That's the Norn die kit that we're getting. Uh, a mini claim ticket. Also quite nice. We have three keys left. Another mini claim ticket. Uh, what do we get in this final chest? Revive orb and a ticket scrap. And finally we got... End of Dragons material bag. Lovely. Let's break down this loot. Here we go. Five transportation charges. Not too shabby. All the die kits? It is. So we've got no green dies this time, which is never happened before, I don't think. So I have a blue ice, which we got from the Norn kit. 15 copper. I probably should just intersold that, but sure. 10 copper for sea ice. Got blush die. Which is another 11 copper. We got squash die. 10 copper. Lime breeze. Six copper. River die. Eleven copper. Nightshade, which you don't have. Or sorry, we do have, I should say. Which is three silver nine. Abyssal Twilight, which we don't have. And that sells for 43 to 55 gold. Very nice to get that. Kind of a purpley color. Ooh, I like that. We've got Midnight Fire as well. Kind of a brownie. Very nice. Midnight Fire is worth... 11 silver. We've got pumpkin die. Which is worth 2 silver 26. And we got enameled sacrifice die, which is worth 2 gold 60. And it is a much brighter red than the abyssal twilight. Or sorry, the flame. Midnight fire. Looks pretty good though. Lovely. Right, let's look at our crafting materials now. So here is the tier 5s. Not too shabby. Uh, here is the heavy crafting bags. It's alright. And then the end of dragons. Ooh, I missed a coin. That is quite nice. 
Next, we're going to go for the Weapon Unlock, for which we got the White Tiger Torch. Very nice. They're quite a nice set. Uh, we have a wardrobe unlock as well, which we got the Endless Ocean Axe, which is quite nice too. Lovely, that is all the weapon skins. Next, we're going to look at the Evan Nash Blade Winter's Day Gifts. Here we go. Ooh, that gets the A Winter's Day presents. Nice. Got an Imperial Star. We got 15 gold. That's 1950. That's uh, 2550. Yeah. Uh, 24, 2950. 39, gold there. Anything down here? 35, 3950. Yeah, we got 40 gold out of those. 25 keys. It's not too shabby. Will help with my. Oh, we also got a commemorative coin. Will help to Ecto Gamble when I get some more Ecto. <laughs> Not too shabby at all. Let's deposit those. And finally we have... Well, first we have the Flail Mace, which we'll have a look at very quickly. Which is this from last week. Looks pretty cool. If we have anyone with a mace on, we'll, we'll throw that on later on. And we also have a new weapon set, which was introduced last week, I believe it was. With the Winter's Day Appearance Pack. Let me grab my ticket so I can have a look at it. And that's the Snow Garden uh, weapons. I believe I showed them off last week. Quite a nice festive set. Alright, let's move on to the Skiff and the Turtle. So here is the Turtle. This is default dies, I believe. Looks really nice. It's so nice having a unique saddle, meaning that they are able to do it and they hopefully will be doing it in the future. Uh, it looks really cool we also have a unique flame so i need to find out if there is a unique gun unfortunately don't have enough plugs to turn on my other computer so we shall find someone in the wild to do it for us <laughs> uh, and i'll make a note of that in the timestamps down below so you can skip quickly to that if that is what you're looking for Let's have a look at the dye channels in particular as we actually check. There is a bit of a color here, so I'm going to make sure that could be the red that we have on these patterns when you dismount and mount up. Uh, so we'll have a look at that as well. So this is indeed default dyes. It's peach ice and citrus breeze on top with apricot and papaya down below. Here is full shadow biz, so pretty much everything is dyeable. And that mount up dismount is affected by one of the colors. We'll find out exactly which one with our contrasting layers at the end here. Uh, but pretty much everything is dive bar sort of buckles, some of the saddle, uh, the eyes, the toe nails as well. Everything else seems dive which is lovely. So top left is the belly, the sort of turrets and the belly of the snake as well as the tongue there. Top right is the main part of the skin besides the belly of the snake and turtle. There is some pattern on the snake, so we'll get to that next, I assume. As well as the outer color of the cannons. Bottom left is the shell and pattern on the snake, as well as the stitching and sort of highlights around the snake there. Oh, and the paws or pads of the feet as well. Bottom right is the highlight layer, so that is the stars, the glow, this bit of fabric here. I'm not sure what, that's part of the saddle, I think. Uh, and the circumference of the top of the turret there. And here's a contrasting layer, blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. The turret seems to be affected by the top left and top right, I want to say. Let's put a different color up on the top left so we know for sure we'll put purple up there if there's any change we'll know okay so it's always the white there but the sort of exhaust is affected by the bottom right that is the contrasting layer and then we have the dismount and mount up is affected by the bottom right lovely overall quite a cool oh we got that little squishy effect when you land as well <laughs> even when you do the attack nice Very nice. Uh, I quite like the turtle. As I said, it's really nice seeing a unique saddle. Uh, I love when they start to mess with 
all the parts of the mounts. And as I said, I think even when the turtle came out or when the first skin came out, or when the first skin came out, like it does take them a little while before they start making the truly unique stuff. Same for the skiffs, which of course we have quite a unique one here with the iceberg skiff. Looks great. Uh, we have the other seats here for other players. Very different, but very cool. And this is a terrible place to actually test it out because it's a little tiny lagoon. So let's head over to the arena. So here we go. Let's get up to full speed and we have our boost as well. So it doesn't seem to come... Oh, it does come out of the water a little bit. <laughs> we have snowmen as well. That's awesome. Really nice. Really nice indeed. With regards movement-wise, you can pretty much go everywhere on the iceberg, which is really nice. Not a lot of boundaries, like the tree you can run through. The snowmen are solid, as are the seats, but the trees have no collision. The fireplace also has a bit of collision there. And, oh no. The Christmas lights have no collision, but the candy canes are... I think they're candy canes, or are they ice canes? They might be snow canes. Uh, do have collision. Very nice. Quite like the underside of it too. Looks fairly just random and nice. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Let's go for default dice. We currently have tarnished silver and crimson line up the top with verdant jade and sunfire lava down below. So default is cocoa evening red with matriarch brass and icing. And that's how this looks here. I think most of the colouring is going to be on the sort of aesthetic stuff. It's not going to affect the ice, I don't think, at all. But let's go into pure Shadow Abyss. Yeah, there isn't truly a lot that you can die with this. It's, it's more just the sort of accessories. Which, personally, that's not too bad. Like, and it is quite a unique one. I could really see it not being easy to make four individual channels for all of this, so. Top left is all the stripes, the star... Bow? Is, I think they're stars. No, they're kind of bow -y stuff. Ribbon at the top of the trees. Top right is the presents and the sort of baubles there. Bottom left is the other presents. Uh, the hat there, the, sc the scarf, the hat on this guy, no, it's not a scarf. Um, bottom right is some more presents, as well as some more of the lights here. So here is our contrasting layer, blue on the top left, green on the top right. Okay, this looks dyeable here as well, nice. Purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. So that's how all the different layers interact with each other. Nothing dyeable on this guy. Not not a lot to be dyed, but it still has a little bit, which is pretty nice. Right, let's head on to all the different races of Tyria and see what these look like across the board. Here we go. And here we are on the festive iceberg uh, skiff on Silvari. It looks very similar. Let's head over to the land over here to grab our turtle. Oh, God, it really sinks down a bit, doesn't it? Uh, when you're at full speed. Let's get out of the water. Hopefully someone in here decides to to join in, and we can look at the cannons on this new turtle. But let's quickly look at the oh oh oh. They are the same cannon. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying, but sure, we're getting there with the turtle. We're getting there. 
So the dies on the turtle here, we have terracotta, citrus breeze on top with apricot and papaya down below. Those two are the default. And then for the skiff, we had blood, sea foam, matrix brass, and cream. There we are, let's move on to our next character, the human. Here we are on human. Again, this is default dies, isn't it? Or at least very similar to it. But here we are on human with the new turtle skin. I don't think we didn't really look at him underwater, did we? Let's go go for a dip, which is somewhere... It's further right, isn't it? Yeah. This is Behe side. Looks really nice, though. And here we are underwater with the new turtle. Looking pretty good. Let's get out and have a look at the new skiff. Here we are here. Looking very nice yet again, though we have run aground, it seems. And let's have a look at the dies. So, for the skiff, we have salmon on the top and die remover everywhere else, which is why it's very brown and basic. Though I think it's trying to default to the normal colors. And then for the turtle, we have terracotta on top and then die remover everywhere else, which is why it's pretty plain and basic there as well. Let's move on to Norn. I need to start putting more skiffs and turtles around, people. Here we are on Silvari with the new sea turtle. And we have a new die pattern, which is very nice. Not the old stock one that we had before. And we're going to slowly sink to the bottom. Don't spend a lot of time down here. So I don't. Let's have a look at this die before we head on to the skiff. We have sunset with honey ice, banana, and blue ice, which is why we're getting blue flames. And here we are in old damn noon. Get up to the top. Not not very fast. And here is the new skiff, looking very schnazzy. I do kind of wish the fog effect wasn't too much. It is a little bit much, like the sort of frosty effect. Maybe that's just because it's night time? How long has it been night time? It's only been night time for about 10 minutes or so, hasn't it? Um, so it was there earlier on. It's just, it's quite bright, the fog. Or the misty stuff that you're getting. Alright, let's have a look at the die kit on the skiff here. So we have gold with camel, tarnished steel, and cream. Kind of gives die remover vibes when it's not quite die remover. Hmm. Right, let's move on to Char. Here we are on Char with the new turtle, and it is looking schnazzy in blue, isn't it? It's looking nice in blue. I like it. Let's head on over to the water so we can have a look at the skiff as well. Very nice. Oh, the ground pound attack is also the J color. I didn't notice that earlier. I should have known for the, the kind of letdown of the the turrets also being just pure green and not changed, even though we have, do have a unique um, mount up aura. Here is our skiff for Char. Nice blues and purples here as well. Some yellows there too. There we go. Looking very nice. Let's have a look at the dye patterns. So, on the turtle, we have Afternoon with Citrus Breeze, Robin, and Breeze. And then for the skiff, we have Spring Dew, Evening Red, Matriarch Brass, and Mountain Sky. Lovely. Right, let's head back to Quando. 
and wrap up the video. Here we go. Right, that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future. I hope you all enjoyed the Winter Day event. Uh, but yeah, you can join the Discord. The link for that is down below. You can support the channel through the membership program or super thanks down below as well. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.